it's Natalie and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a loose eyeshadow or pigment and pressing it into pan form just like this in order to store them in your MAC quads or your MAC palettes. Now the reason to do this I find is I use the pigments more when it's pressed use them more as an eyeshadow. It makes less of a mess and especially if you are a person that takes your makeup with you a lot of places or is traveling a lot this is a lot easier and more compact and you'll find that you'll have less mess and you won't waste as much product this way. So to get started you're going to need a few things. The first thing you're going to need is the pigment or a loose eyeshadow and I'm using Max Kitchmas which is a really pretty lavender color. Then next you're going to need an empty eyeshadow pan. Now if you have a MAC eyeshadow that you've used up you can clean it out and reuse it or if you don't you can actually buy these online. I found my eyeshadow pans at starsmakeuphaven.com and they sold them in a set of 15 for like $4.75 so it's a good deal. The only thing is that they're not magnetic just like the MAC ones so you're going to have to attach a magnet on the back in order for it to stick to your palette. So you're also going to need something to mix the pigment with. I just have a little jar and then you're going to need something to mix it and it's going to be a little scoop. I bought these little scoops on coastalsense.com I bought a pack of 10 and they were like a dollar and change. So this is perfect because you can actually use it to scoop out the pigment and then you can use the other end which is pointy to actually mix it. And then the last thing you're going to need is rubbing alcohol. Now I'm using 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. Um, the percentage really doesn't matter. It all just, um, whatever you have will work. The higher the percentage just means the quicker the eyeshadow or pigment will dry. But just use whatever you have in your medicine cabinet. So the first thing I like to do is I like to grab a piece of paper and I like to put a little bit of alcohol on it, just a tiny bit, and I like to disinfect my eyeshadow pan just to kill any bacteria and to really clean it and get it ready for the pigment. So then I'm going to take my little jar and I'm going to open up my pigment. And I'm going to grab my little scoop and scoop out about three to four. I find it's a good amount of pigment. Just like that. Then next you're going to get some rubbing alcohol. I find the easiest way I like to grab the actual bottle cap and pour it some directly into there. Just like that because I find less of a mess to transferring from the cap than directly from the bottle. So I'm just going to pour some alcohol onto the pigment. You want to wet the pigment but you don't want to soak it. You don't want it to become watery. And then you're going to take the other end and just stir it. You just want to make sure that all the pigment is wet. You don't want it too chunky. You want to be able to pour it into the pan. You want it kind of like the consistency of a, a cake batter. So once that's all mixed, as you can see it's all mixed there, you're going to grab your pan and just scoop it all out directly into your eyeshadow pan. Just like that. So once it's all in there, you want to make it pretty level. I like to just lift it up and kind of tap it a few times just to get it completely level and any air bubbles out of the way. So what you're going to do after that is you're going to set it aside and let it dry for at least an hour. So once the pigment has fully dried, the next step is to actually press it. So for this you're going to need a quarter and a piece of fabric. Now this is a piece of muslin I had, but any like a cotton or a piece of an old t-shirt, anything like that will work. What you're going to do is you're going to cover the pigment with the fabric and then press the quarter into the actual pan and it will fit in perfectly. And you'll press it and what I like to do is set a heavy book over it or any kind of heavy object and let it sit for a few hours. And once that's done, your pigment is ready to use. So the final step is just to stick a little magnet on the back and write what it is. So as you can see this one, I got a little magnet and this is from the craft store and I just wrote melon pigment. And once that's done, you can store it in your palette, just like that.
So I hope this little tutorial helped you guys if you had any questions about how to press a pigment or a loose eyeshadow. This also works great if you're fixing a broken eyeshadow. You can do the same thing, crush it up and treat it just as you would a pigment. So I hope all this helped and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye!